Poets and wizards, welcome back. Are you ready for session two? I am. I had so much fun and I've gotten great feedback on uh, what we did yesterday, uh, which was lesson one of the poetic journey for kids. And we talked about uh, the pictures that happen all over our bodies when we use words, that words are magic potions, really, that can open us up and uh, help us remember the feeling of being alive. So today, we are going to continue with what we started yesterday, because yesterday, let me remind you, in session one, we visited a poem, a beautiful poem, by uh, the Native American poet F. Scott Momaday, and it began like this. I am a feather in the bright sky. I am the blue horse that runs on the grassy plain. I am the fish that rolls shining in the water. I am the shadow that follows a child. I am the evening light, the luster in the meadows. I'm an eagle playing with the wind. I am the furthest star. And we talked about how when we hear words like that, we visit all kinds of places in our imagination. And we talked about how it's not just a picture for the brain or even for the eyes, but we can hear things, feel things. So that's what we did yesterday. Now, we ended by writing a poem together. I hope you all wrote one. And in fact, I'm gonna ask you to submit them. I'm gonna talk about that at the end uh, if you'd like to share your poem. But today I'd like to expand what we did yesterday because what we did was um, wrote poems about turning ourselves into animals in the way that Scott Momaday said, I am a blue horse that runs on the grassy plain. I'm the fish that rolls shining in the water. We added details to help us see what we see, what we feel. But notice he wasn't only an animal. Our assignment yesterday was to be just an animal. Today we're gonna to expand that. So we're going to start a new poem. And I actually am gonna suggest that you get your paper out right now and your pencil and if you need to pause me, that's perfect. Just pause me, go get your supplies. And when you get back, we'll start writing together today. So, ready? So your first assignment today is to think about yourself as weather. If you could turn yourself into any weather, what would it be? So this is not the weather you're in. This is the weather you are. <laughs> so that's a wild way of thinking about it. But do you feel like you're a gentle rain, falling in the garden, making the flowers grow? Or are you a wild sandstorm, blowing in shapes that you can only imagine? Maybe the shapes of wild beasts. Or, or are you a snowflake landing on the eyelash of a little girl staying there for a few minutes <laughs> before it melts. Or, so you get the idea. You're gonna start writing. I think I'll write with you today. So I'm gonna pause too. <laughs> 